Councillor Mervyn Jones, you're very welcome here to the FSB stand at the Alliance Party Conference. Yeah, thank you. You represent a, a constituency in Belfast. Can you tell us what the small businesses there are experiencing at the moment and what you feel you're able to do for them? Well, I think in East Belfast, as in, as in every other area of Northern Ireland, they're finding it very tight, the current economic climate. Roads like the Newton Arge Road, Albert Bridge Road, main arterial routes, there's a lot of vacant spaces and um, vacant spaces don't help the, the businesses that are left as well because they bring about a deterioration of the area. I, I understand, I'm, I'm an accountant by profession so I understand the, the difficulties of trying to, to balance the books in these scenarios and um, I think it's important that uh, every help is given to small businesses. And what do you think the Assembly is going to be able to do? What's their, their policy changes that will help those sorts of areas and then the local councils working in tandem with that? Well, one area, as a Belfast councillor, I, I'm not in favour of massive superstores out of, out of town, John Lewis type scenario, which denudes the centre of Belfast and the arterial routes as well of, of um, business. And th brings harm to the, the businesses that are there. I think it's important that local businesses are given support. And I think we have certainly as a council have tried to brighten up some of the arterial routes, spent money on them. There's a programme around Hollywood Arches, for instance, which is very close to where I live, to try to improve the place. I've knocked down some derelict buildings, which have been an eyesore, and things like the Conswater Greenway, I think will help the general area and will help the businesses in the area. And looking at the bigger picture, obviously we're talking about the devolution of corporation tax powers in Northern Ireland. Do you think that that's something that will provide a direct boost and also an indirect boost to businesses? Well, I hope so, but I don't think it's, a, it's not the be-all and end-all, and I think any benefits will not come immediately. There is a situation where, the, where Northern Ireland will lose money out of reduction in corporation tax. I think the benefits may, will come, hopefully, but they'll only come you know, in the fullness of time, so there'll actually be a period of time where it will cost money, and that'll have to be built into any any plans to do this. But as an accountant, you're then saying, well, that's that's an investment that we need to make? Yes, yes. But it has to be considered that it will be an investment as opposed to a quick fix.